Hey everyone! Today we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting. Specifically, we're going to take a closer look at the 1985 Lincoln Penny. What's the story behind this small coin, and could it hold hidden value? In this video, we'll uncover its historical significance, explore unique design elements, and even learn about some rare error coins. So, if you have a 1985 penny, stick around because you may want to take a second look. The Lincoln penny holds a unique place in American history. First introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth, it was the first U.S. coin to feature a real person's likeness, breaking away from the classical or symbolic designs that had previously adorned coins. This shift marked a new era in American numismatics. The 1985 penny continued this long-standing tradition, with Abraham Lincoln's profile on the front, or obverse side of the coin. This iconic design has remained popular, making the Lincoln penny one of the most recognized coins in U.S. history. One interesting aspect of the 1985 Lincoln penny lies in its composition. Originally, pennies were made of bronze, a mix of copper, tin, and zinc. But in 1982, rising copper prices led to a change. The mint began making pennies with a core of zinc coated with a thin layer of copper. This made the penny lighter than earlier versions, and even the sound it makes when tapped against a surface is noticeably different. A penny from before 1982 has a distinct ping, while the 1985 penny sounds slightly muffled due to its zinc core. The 1985 penny also carries a classic reverse design featuring the Lincoln Memorial. Introduced in 1959 to celebrate the 150th anniversary of Lincoln's birth, this image remained on the penny's reverse side until 2009. If you look closely at the Lincoln Memorial on a 1985 penny, you can even spot a small image of Lincoln's statue inside the building's center, making it one of the few U.S. coins with an image of the same person on both sides. The value of a 1985 penny can also depend on its color. Due to the copper coating, these pennies develop different tones based on exposure to air and handling. Collectors classify Lincoln pennies as red, red-brown, or brown, with red pennies being the most desirable and brown the least. For a penny to be considered red, at least 95% of its surface must retain the original copper tone. The more vibrant the color, the more attractive it is to collectors, which can increase its value. 1985 pennies come with three potential mint marks, none for Philadelphia, a D for Denver, and an S for San Francisco. The S mint mark indicates a proof coin, which was made with a special process to ensure finer details, intended specifically for collectors. While most 1985 pennies aren't worth much beyond face value, error coins can be a different story. Coins with mistakes, like double strikes or off-center images, can be worth a significant premium. If you have a 1985 penny, check it for unusual details because errors can make a common penny a collector's treasure. So, there you have it, your guide to the 1985 Lincoln penny. This small coin is part of a rich American legacy, with a history, design, and even collectible value of its own. If you're interested in coin collecting or simply want to know more about the coins in your pocket, keep an eye out for unique features and colors. And remember, even the smallest coin can tell a big story.